Hey guys, AKD Tech here. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about recording gameplay from your Xbox. Now when it comes to recording your gameplay, you can always use that little screenshot and little moment tool that Xbox provides. But if you want something a little bit longer, let's say a full 20 minute video, you can't really do that using Xbox. So for that you need to get a little bit more creative because the Xbox operating system is built around gaming and entertainment. There isn't much room for custom apps like screen recorders. So you have to work around them and well, here are your options. So the first option is the simplest one and also the most expensive one. So that's buying a capture card. Now those things are like this big, they go for about 150 or more based on how much quality you're looking for and what features there are. That's really expensive if you're starting out and you just want to use this to, you know, start a YouTube channel or something. But if you want something more free, as in no money spent at all, well, here's your option. You have to use Windows because Windows allows you to record your screen perfectly fine. Now that doesn't mean you get a gaming PC, but you can actually use your Xbox from your PC and record it. Now that's the only way, unfortunately, that you can get past the problem with Xbox's operating system being so restricted. That's the same for PlayStation and everybody else. So pretty much what you have to do is you have to go on a computer. Okay, so if you want to go for the free version, it's going to be a little bit of tinkering and you're going to need a couple of things. So starting off, you need your Xbox, obviously. Number two, you need a controller and a micro USB cable. Cable that sticks in to your controller. You're going to need this for your computer unless you have a Xbox dongle for your computer. Okay, and finally, you're going to need the, the Xbox app, which is available on Windows 10. So if you don't have Windows 10, you're kind of stuck there as well. So make sure you have Windows 10 and the Xbox app all ready to go. So let's check it out. So once you're in the Xbox app, you want to look for that little Xbox logo on the sidebar. Click on that and you get to your Xboxes that you own and you want to say add new console. And if your console is on and you're signed in, you can go ahead and click connect because it'll show up. Otherwise, you might have to put in your IP address, which is pretty easy to find. Just search it up on Google and you can go from there. Now, once you're there, you, you can press stream and your Xbox interface will actually show up on your computer. Now you gotta switch to your Xbox controller, which is now connected to your computer, and you're pretty much good to go from here. Now that you're on Windows, you can pretty much use any screen recording software that you normally use to record everything that's on your screen. So, the problems with this is of course that you gotta know your screen recording software. Um, I personally use Shadowplay because that's the easiest way to record anything. Uh, you can always use the Xbox Game Bar for Windows, which is also very easy to do. And then there's OBS, which gives you a lot more options, but there's a lot of learning that goes into it. Now, once you've gotten past that, you have to remember that this is streaming, so you, your connection will vary. Uh, if you have a poor connection at home, uh, both LAN and internet, you might have a lot of issues with maintaining the quality. Now, in our home, we have pretty good internet, but terrible router, so pretty much we have ups and downs all the time. So you'll notice that there's a lot of hiccups. And when I put it on medium to low, you'll see that the, the quality gets terrible, but you get a much better um, stable frame rate. You don't get as many drops anymore. So keep that in mind if you do end up using the solution. Of course, the Elgato will never have such a problem, but it's very expensive. So keep that in mind and hopefully it works out. All right, well, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, you can always leave it in the comments below and I always try to answer it. And if you really like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe if you want some more of this content. Obviously, this is a really new channel and love the support and I'll keep making videos like this. So see you soon.